This blueprint is actually lit. So they just added the blaze up event to the game, and once you complete it, you get this Daymare's blueprint, and uh, yeah, it's absolutely sick. The one unfortunate thing about it is, is, you know, this isn't like a camo, so if you don't like this weapon in particular, then, uh, you know, this blueprint is kind of useless to you. The blueprint is specifically for the WSP Swarm. In order to unlock it, you gotta complete 11 challenges, but, you know, that's not too bad, because you have 14 days to do it. Me, I just kind of, you know, sat down and grinded it out all at once. I would highly recommend completing these over in multiplayer. So when it comes to the challenges on the multiplayer side of things, you have get 25 operator clean kills with the at akimbo attachment equipped, then get 10 operator quick scope kills with the stalker boots perk equipped, get 20 operator direct impact launcher kills, hit 20 operators with tear gas with the tech max perk equipped, use the stammer battle rage tacticals 15 times, get 4 operator kills within 20 seconds in one life 2 times, get 10 operator stuck grenade kills with the uh, demolition vest equipped, get 20 operator kills while in smoke with the jack purifier attachment equipped, deploy an inflatable decoy field upgrade 15 times with the engineer vest equipped, Get 25 operator kills with a cooked frag or thermo barrack grenade. And finally, get 40 operator kills with the dragon's breath attachment equipped while sliding slash crouching. And then once you do all that, you unlock this absolutely sick Daymare's blueprint. Besides that, they just added a new event to the game, which we're going to be diving into, which is the blaze up event. I believe that it's limited to only the resurgence mode. I don't think this is in the actual like Urzik Stand Battle Royale, but as you can see, collect, uh, pick up gummies to gain special power ups, resurgence, survive the resurgence countdown, you know how that works, and then survive. Double XP is also active once again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, they just, they just had it on for however many days once the season first started, but then yesterday, once a new event went live, they turned it back on, so time to get back to grinding. As always, they ended up putting out the weekly challenges as well, which you can see, I already got these done. Uh, again, I'd probably recommend just doing these in multiplayer. That's kind of how it goes for basically anything, whether it comes to events or daily challenges or weekly challenges or whatever. You know, the multiplayer ones always tend to be the easiest. That being said, it is worth going through and doing the ones in Battle Royale and Zombies if you're in need of extra XP. Me, the season literally, you know, it just came out like a week ago and I'm already yeah, over halfway to the level cap, so I'm not in need of XP per se, but yeah, I'll grind it off for the sake of it. Admittedly, I have not played this mode yet just because, you know, I don't play Warzone too often. Like, usually when a mode comes out, I'll, like, play it once or twice, and then that's usually it, so I figured I'd, I'd save, like, my initial reactions for when I go to record. I just wish that they would make things a bit more obvious as to, like, what is what. Because, like, yeah, in the event tab, it said, like, oh, you know, dive into Resurgence to play the new mode, but it's, like, I, I wish when you went to the Warzone menu, it would actually say, like, hey, there's, like, this cool event going on right now, because half the time, they don't even do that. As y'all know, I suck at Warzone, but that goes doubly so today since I'm playing on keyboard and mouse, since this is not the control scheme that I normally use, so this will probably be a disaster. Not to mention the fact that I don't have audio when I record just because I don't, I don't, I just, I don't know. I don't like wearing headphones. If I absolutely need audio while I record, what I do is I like turn my speakers down very low, but even then I don't like to do that too often because I don't want like, you know, the mic to pick stuff up. What can I say? I got a fat head. Headphones made my head hurt. And yeah, when I was a rebellious teenager, I used to wear like earbuds all the time because I know that's another thing, but it's like, I don't know, man. Now, like back then, sure, I could wear earbuds, for, but for some reason, it's just, I don't know, man. I don't like those things just like being in my ears. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, I made a bit of a oopsie daisy and before we started the match normally like when I have a certain loadout that I want to use before starting a match I make it my favorite loadout just so then when I'm browsing like the loadouts Like I don't have to like, you know scroll through I can just click the first one and immediately I have the loadout that I want But I forgot to do that. So I I don't know if we'll actually get to use the damers blueprinting game I'm gonna try though. Anyway, I'm not exactly sure how this works So I'm gonna run around and keep looting I don't know if you get the gummies from looting or if you get them from something else dude What are the chances we just opened up another one of those like favorite loadout supply boxes? I mean, I'll take it. No, I I didn't even know that somebody was out there. Okay, somehow I ended up getting that kill. Okay, my PC settings are really weird for some reason. So even though I'm holding G, it only puts in one armor plate at a time. That's definitely gonna end up throwing me off. I, I have to see if there's a way to change that. So then I just hold G and it just like continuously puts them in. I haven't found any of those gummies yet. And I mean, you guys saw it in the menu. It said that you have to go into resurgence to get it. Unless that was an error on their end and the event isn't actually out yet. Or maybe I just haven't found the things yet. Again, I have no idea. And there's my second death. Okay. I know in the past, like with the zombies event, they had it so that you had to complete certain contracts. I'm not seeing any like specific contracts though on the tag map. And somebody shot me down before I could even land. Like, why? Like, is this really? I mean, dog, like, why? Well, what's the point? Well, I guess we'll dive into the next match. <laughs> no pun intended. I just realized what I did as soon as I said it. Just out of curiosity, what would happen if I would actually plug in a controller? Okay, I have it plugged in. Uh, this is a third party controller just because I don't have like a first party controller for my PC setup. I mean, like, I have a first party controller for my consoles, obviously, but I don't feel like going over there, grabbing it, bringing it over here, plugging it in, possibly having it turn on my consoles. I mean, hey, it glows blue, so that's pretty cool. Why is it taking so long for me to get into it? Just uh, like, do you know how many people play Warzone? Just put me into a game. I get it. You're trying 
trying to as like optimize your SBMM algorithms and matchmaking. I, like I don't care, dog. Back in the day, I could literally just click find match on Black Ops 2, and I would be into a game within five seconds. That was 12 years ago. Because every little thing, it's gonna be all right. No, it's not. <laughs> the game's still loading. If a game is taking so long to load that I have enough time to get to that point of where I'm just like bored and singing to myself, you know there's an issue. Finally, we're diving into the match. Now let's see, is everything, um, for some reason I can't aim. Um, I'm like, I'm, I'm flicking, like, I know that it's, it works on this stick. Then look, I can even melee, so you know the stick works. Uh, this is... This is really, like, I can move, I can, sh I just, I can't aim. Is there something wrong with my, is it, like, dog, what, how, why, why is it just locked on mount? You are in a public match. Quit to the main menu to change, choose either controller or the, wait, so I, you can't change this in game? Dog, I can do that on, like, uh, like, I, I, there's so many games from literally over a decade ago that I can do that on. Well, I guess it's keyboard and mouse for me. Funny story, when I went to unplug my controller, I accidentally unplugged my mic, so I had to, like, reset sync everything right there so if anything's like different right now i apologize that also means that it ended up putting me into the next game and i landed already like but i, I didn't get to choose where i landed just because i was trying to figure all that out so uh yeah i'm probably gonna die immediately i think the game feels bad for us because we got an orange mtz off the rip Ooh, we got a rival not like i don't know what the metas are in warzone nor do i really care oh no i'm just gonna switch to the mtz no you're gonna <laughs> I'm just, just kill me, dude. Like, I, I don't even want to be alive. Just kill me. One thing I do in Rebirth a lot is I pick up bounty contracts just because, you know, people are dying left and right. So it's a quick way to get money just because, like, you don't even have to... You know, I tried to find the gummy. I, I, I what even was this video? I, I, I don't even know, dude. Oh, you know what? Now would be a great time to talk about this. I, I, I forgot the other day they were talking about how apparently people were actually getting perma banned on the game and everybody's like stats were getting reset again. Like if you guys remember that video I made a couple months ago where I was like, they reset my stats and I proved SBMM is rigged. Well, apparently that ended up happening again and people that were playing during that time were getting perma banned. I guess they're trying to go through and like alleviate that, but I saw them like posting up on Twitter this morning about that. So I don't know if that's still an issue, but I figured I'd just throw that warning out there. Maybe just do some research before you get on the game again. Me, I'm a Call of Duty addict, so I'm here playing regardless. But the one thing I wanted to look at, uh, apparently there's been a lot of controversy, I guess, about this thing where like if you have to buy all of these bundles in order to get this beast glove. And I I'm assuming that I don't know if this is actually an exclusive weapon in the game because that's what I wanted to know. Like, is this an exclusive weapon that is locked behind a paywall? Because if so, that is really scummy. But if I mean, to an extent, I guess you could say it's scummy regardless. But like if it's an exclusive weapon and they're locking it behind four different bundles and yeah but if it's just like a blueprint for another weapon then i'll be able to excuse it and I'll, I'll explain my thought behind that okay so looking at the shop again yeah it says that this is actually a blueprint for the gladiator melee weapon which is weird because i mean this looks nothing like the gladiator but the only reason i say that i i mean i'm not defending this by any means because like you know what would that be like 80 dollars for this thing yeah no that's a bit much but at the very least at least you're not locking like exclusive weapons behind this paywall because the minute that they start trying to do stuff like that that's when we get back to how we were back in like black Ops 3 because as much as I and the rest of the community love Black Ops 3 let's be honest the supply drop system in that game or something especially like Advanced Warfare was just it, it was a bit much like uh, between the variants in Advanced Warfare and then just like the exclusive weapons being locked behind supply drops and stuff like that yeah it got pretty out of hand especially with those drop rates now granted this isn't anything like you know loot boxes or supply drops or anything like that but i mean still if they get to a point of trying to lock exclusive weapons beyond like 80 dollars paywalls then yeah no but since it's just a blueprint it's like whatever i just hope we don't get to the point of them locking exclusive weapons beyond this stuff is what i'm saying but regardless i mean 80 dollars for a blueprint i mean yeah i'm not gonna be paying for all that but anyways yeah that's all the new stuff uh not really sure how you're supposed to get gummies i don't know if maybe you get those from killing people or if there was just uh, i mean i don't know i i, I look through the different modes i wasn't seeing anything else i only saw the resurgence mode which is what i'm assuming that it was supposed to be under i don't know if you had to go into quad specifically i'm not really sure but as i had stated earlier in the video double xp is active so i'm just gonna go ahead and grind this stuff out but anyway as always my shout out thank you to the patrons and channel members thank you to all in the low ball tier and a big shout out thank you to all in the big ball tier my last game is dad man in the big shout out thank you to all in gt right event so much cheese cold thank you guys so much you guys are literal legends i love you thank you guys for watching have an amazing day stay beautiful i love you all peace